know you have extinguished many of your options to, you know, get those people vaccinated, and this is one of the ways as the OSHA mandate yeah. is held up in court, this would maybe be a, a way to push more people to get You know, that's a possibility, but I think for the people who are listening to this, we again talk about why it's important to get vaccinated. I think what's happening now is another example of why it's important for people to get vaccinated who've not been vaccinated, but also boosting. Boosting is really very important because the data that we get on boosting, if you look at the level, for example, of an antibody, a neutralizing antibody, peak following the second dose of a two-dose mRNA, it's like at this level. If you look at the peak following the third shot boost, it goes way up here. And people ask, why is that important? Because our experience with variants, such as the Delta variant, is that even though the vaccine isn't specifically targeted to the Delta variant, when you get a high enough level of an immune response, you get spillover protection, even against a variant that the vaccine wasn't specifically directed at. And that's the reason why we feel, even though we don't have a lot of data on it, there's every reason to believe that that kind of increase that you get with the boost would be helpful, at least in preventing severe disease of a variant like Omicron. Dr. Fauci, as you know, a lot of Americans right now are shopping for the best sort of booster or whatever they can get. And given the fact that manufacturers and scientists are racing to learn more about this variant and then to modify a vaccine that will more directly combat it right now. First, for those who already received their boost, how long it, would it be for them before conceivably they could have a new modified booster that will more directly target this? And is there any reason those individuals should wait, given the White House has said it'll be a couple of months perhaps before we have a more modified vaccine that more directly targets it? Great question, because we get asked it a lot, and it's an irrelevant question. So right now, I would not be waiting. People say, well, if we're going to have a, va a, a booster-specific vaccine, should we wait? If you are eligible, namely six months with a double uh, mRNA dose or two months with the J&J, &J, get boosted now. We may not need a variant-specific boost. We're preparing for the possibility that we need a variant-specific boost. And that's what the companies are doing. We have been, the administration has been in contact with the pharmaceutical companies to go ahead and take the steps in case we need it. But the mistake people would make is to say, let me wait and see if we get one. If you're eligible for boosting, get boosted right now. Sabrina. 